Looking into statistics, 1 in 5 women compared to 1 in 20 men are affected by sexual harassment online. We can draw this up like cute chocolate boxes. them up at the front bit too much. But if we colour it in, you can see the dramatic difference between the 1 in 20 and the 1 in 5. Although it's probably not very accurate, it's probably a bit smaller on the 1 in 20. Ninety-five percent of teens aged 12 to 17 use the internet, and eighty percent of those online teens use social media sites. These social media sites probably go under the lines of Facebook, Tumblr, I love Tumblr, I'm obsessed with Tumblr, and Twitter. I've never used Twitter, I don't even know what the logo looks like. I'm probably going to draw it completely wrong. Okay, that does not look right. Probably the main focus here is Facebook, that's a big one, a big social network. Person over here, person over there. If you're like me, who has hundreds of friends, it's you standing in the middle, surrounded by people you don't know. And okay, you've got a few friends there, some cute friends with some green smiley faces. But the rest of the people there, you don't know. So to sum up Facebook, it's pretty much you, a bunch of people you don't know, friends, and that one evil guy in the corner that's probably going to sexually harass you. So let's look at the definition here. Harassment involving the making of unwanted sexual advances or obscene remarks. If you're still unsure about what sexual harassment might mean, then here are some great examples. Unwelcome touching, hugging or kissing, staring or leering, suggestive comments or jokes. Okay, okay, my computer is... it's got the light on, but it's not on. Not responding? <laughs> Sexually explicit pictures. Requests for sex. Well, I definitely won't get sexually harassed online because I can't even get online. What's going on? Taunts of sexual nature and finally inappropriate advances on social media. What is pretty awesome is that recent movements of feminism has brought a lot of attention to the safety of women and the inappropriate behaviours that are oppressing them. So although this sort of thing is still happening, it's reassuring to know that harassment is being addressed. Linking together what I said about Facebook and sexual harassment, it's easy to see how important our online choices are if we want to protect ourselves. What you need to constantly remind yourself is that these social networks are completely worldwide. So if you're putting your cute bikini picture on Facebook and you've got about 500 friends, then they're all going to see it. Which is completely fine if you want to do that. But you've got to keep in mind that there are going to be those few people who completely disrespect you and your body. Looking after ourselves online is really important because unless you are continuously receiving threatening messages from someone, authorities aren't inclined to help you. Why is sexual harassment online such a big problem for us? Well, it causes useful online websites to be unsafe to use. It can lead people to feel insecure, intimidated, offended, humiliated. It happens so often that commonly, excuses such as she should not have posted that picture showing provocative clothing and she was asking for it, dismiss the problem rather than addressing it. This approach means women aren't taken seriously and it's often difficult to report the problem. What can you do? Monitor who is friending you on these social networks. Adding everyone who sends a request is an awful idea. Security setting on 
your networks can be altered to suit you. You can change it so your name does not appear when someone types it into the Facebook search bar. There are still situations where it's not even strangers that are sexually harassing you. You need to recognise the problem right away and take action when this happens. You can turn your Facebook chat to appear offline so they don't feel the need to chat to you, or you can simply block the person right away. Continuing to talk to them or telling them off may not be a good idea because it encourages them to continue. Even though the problem may just be a minor one, keep the bad messages. If this continues to happen, these can be useful when you do need to turn to authorities. That's all from me today and hopefully you have found it insightful and can draw it into play when you are online.